right well, there here. we go. Oh. Yeah, but right. a heat index of 119. Yeah. Yikes. Feels bad. It's really? Hot. Well, Possum oh, Buck yeah. is sweating. Yeah. When he gets irritable, <laughs> oh, man. Wait, hey, hang is he on. cranky? Say those two words. His, name, his nickname is Possum Buck. And he lives in Possum Walk. Oh, okay. Possum Walk. All right. There you go. Okay. Now that's East Walk. Texas. <laughs> yep, that's East Texas. I'm telling you. That's East Texas. Thank you, Possum Buck, for those statistics. Yeah, thank you, Possum Buck. <laughs> I like that. I really do. You know, thank you for your observations. I mean, we've got point forecast, point locations, point weather stations that we take those observations from. So sometimes it's a lot hard, hotter down the block than it is at your house or my house or whoever's house. Now, burn bans are in effect. Our central and southern counties all under a burn ban. It's pretty much who's not under a burn ban at this point. Hopkins, Franklin, Titus, Camp County, you guys are not under a burn ban. Cass County was added earlier today. We've got 100s across our northern counties, hundreds across Smith County. The East Texas Regional Airport's at 101. It's 101 in Gladewater. Mount Enterprise, you guys are at 100. It's 99 in, da in uh, downtown Nacogdoches. And then, wow, that word did not come out good. 100 in Kennard, 100 in Groveton. Heat index values are in the triple digits for most locations, so it feels hot. Feel like 108 in Tyler and Longview. 79. That is your low temperature tonight. And then as we head into tomorrow, another hot day, but there is a glimmer of hope. I do have rain chances in the forecast. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Saturday, about a 20% chance of showers and thunder thunderstorms. Sunday, less of a chance of it, but that heat is going to continue to build as we move into next week. As a result, I've got more triple digits in the forecast, both Monday and Tuesday. So here's future cast. By 7 o'clock in the morning, we're seeing a couple of clouds around, but as we head into tomorrow afternoon, there's tons of energy in the atmosphere right now because it's so hot and because we're going to have a little higher humidity that could result in some shower and thunderstorm chances tomorrow afternoon. There's also a boundary to our north that will help that, but you can see our northern counties could be the ones that cash in. Could see some gusty winds out of it too, so keep your wits about you if you're heading out tomorrow afternoon. Keep an eye to the skies, but by 5, 6 o'clock, most of this rain is moving out, and it's certainly out of here by 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. Let's talk about the next 6 to 10 days, and then we'll get you to your 7-day. It's still hot. We're still above average. For a frame of reference, the average high temperature is anywhere between 93 and 95 degrees around here at this time of year. And then there's going to be a middle-of-the-week rain chance. Still too far out to tell what Futurecast is going to say about it, but most of our forecast models are indicating some type of rain to fall Wednesday and Thursday. But triple digit heat in the meantime, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, whether you're in Tyler, Longview, or in deep east Texas, um, in Trinity County, we are going to see that triple digit heat through at least Tuesday. Rain chances Wednesday and Thursday as well. Neil Casey? Thank you, and Possum Buck as well. Yeah.